Welcome everyone. In this video, we will discuss the basic wiring for a Siemens logo PLC. We will discuss how to connect the power supply to the PLC and we will discuss how to connect the digital inputs, digital outputs and analog inputs. We are not discussing the analog outputs because this PLC don't have any inbuilt analog outputs. So just before discussing the wiring, we will just note down the terminals. Okay, if you see this PLC here on the right side, on the top, if you see the label L plus and M, these two for the power supply for the PLC and I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6, I7, I8. These represent the digital inputs and some of them represent the analog inputs. Okay, if you see here on the top, I1, I2, I7, I8 represent analog input 1, 2, 3, 4. I7 and I8 are analog input 1, analog input 2. I1, I2 are analog input 3 and analog input 4. You can use these inputs either as digital inputs or as analog inputs. This you have to decide in the software or you can use these keys also for the selection. In our entire course, we are going to use two analog inputs only and we are using last i7 and i8 terminals for the analog input purpose so we will call them as analog input 1 which is i7 and analog input 2 which is i8 okay remaining i1 to i6 are digital inputs i7 i8 are analog inputs okay and at the bottom if you see see the q1 q2 q3 q4 these are digital outputs q represent output i represent input inputs are having only single terminal because the negative is common for all the inputs so there is no need to connect the negative again but for outputs these are relay outputs the outputs are having two terminals if you see the q1 is having terminal number one and two if you see q2 this is q2 again one and two q3 one and two q4 one and two so these are the points here we have to insert the cable and we can tighten the screw from here We will see the wiring diagram for this Siemens logo PLC. So this is the wiring diagram. If you see on top, we are using 12 volts DC power supply for the PLC because this PLC model is logo 12 slash 24. That means you can use either 12 volts or 24 volts power supply dc power supply remember there are other also available like which are, takes directly 230 volts ac input okay if you need 230 volts ac input then you have to purchase the respect to model clear so here i'm using 12 volts dc power supply the top one is positive, the, this one is negative. So the 12 volts DC power supply positive is connected to L plus. See, the positive wire is connected to the, the first terminal, which is L plus. See, see the first terminal, which is L plus. Here we have to connect the positive terminal from the DC power supply 
and the second one which is m we have to connect the negative terminal from the dc power supply okay see the second one is m l plus and m the first two will provide power supply to the plc whatever the power supply 12 volts 24 volts 240 volts ac okay that power supply we have to connect here the first two terminals so how to do the wiring for the digital inputs see the digital inputs also we have to connect the 12 volts power supply because i am using 12 volts power supply for the entire uh, project so if it is 24 volts also you can directly connect the 24 volts there will be no issue we will discuss for i1 as the negative is already common inside so there is no need to connect the negative terminal for all these inputs if you see each input is having only single terminal see one single screw is there if you see i1 only one single screw i2 one single screw i3 to i8 okay the second one which is negative is not given that is inside it is already connected so you no need to connect it again so that is why if you see the positive power supply it is taken okay and it is connected to the input terminal one via a switch because here i'm using the switch as an input it may be a push button a toggle switch or a sensor output if the switch is closed the 12 volts will go to this i1 and the plc will sense it as the digital input i1 is activated it is turned on okay similarly for all the inputs we have to connect the 12 volts power supply to the i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 in between we have to use this switch for example i want to use toggle switches i want to use some motor start motor stop buttons or selector switches manual mode auto mode okay digital inputs the respect to hardware we have to use and we have to connect it to this i1 i2 i3 i4 to i8 okay that is why if you see the 12 volts is taken and it is going to the switch another terminal going to the i1 similarly 12 volts to switch again i2 again 12 volts is taken it is connected to one terminal of switch the second terminal of switch it is connected to the plc input channel okay if the switch is closes this 12 volts will go to the respect to input channel then whenever that voltage is there the circuit is closed the plc will sense it as the input status it will update either on or off because these are digital inputs for this logo plc you can use i1 to i8 there are total eight inputs you can use all the eight inputs as digital inputs or for this model of plc as already discussed we can use i7 and i8 as analog inputs and i1 and i2 as analog inputs you can choose you have an option okay for our project i1 to i6 i taken as digital inputs i7 and i8 i taken as analog inputs okay i7 i'll call it as analog input 1 and i8 i'll call it as analog input 2 for this plc the operating voltage is 0 volts to 10 volts dc it can measure analog input 0 volt to 10 volts so for that purpose i taken one 10k potentiometer okay variable resistor and one side of the potentiometer i connected to the positive terminal of 12 volts dc power supply the second terminal or the third terminal you can call it as 
it is connected to the negative of the DC power supply. The in between the slider point, okay, that is connected to the I7. Similarly, I taken second potentiometer. One terminal is connected to the positive power supply here. The third one is connected to the negative power supply. And the slider third point or the variable point, I connected it to the I8 of the PLC. It is called as analog input 2. If you want, you can use I1 as analog input 3, I2 as analog input 4. Okay. And we have one series resistor before this power supply. After the series resistor, the 12 volts is taken to the port and the power supply is taken to this second port. So this is the input wiring for digital inputs and analog inputs. See, the wiring is very simple. You just connect the 12 volts power supply to the inputs directly via a switch. Okay, simple. For analog inputs, we take in potentiometer. So I will use the hardware also during the uh, programming for simulation of the circuits, program logics. Okay, this is the setup I considered. So instead of using many sensors, I'm using a potentiometer for analog input. Thank you.